Oh my God, what is that? This is a black-throated monitor lizard. Okay, where do you want me for this? Can, you can I be in a cage of some kind? <laughs> no, you don't have to be in a cage. No, this guy's name is Darth Vader. And he's pretty aptly named because when he gets upset, he starts to hiss and moan just like Darth Vader would. But again, Darth a black- Darth Vader doesn't moan. <laughs> he doesn't hiss or moan. Yeah, he does. Oh, oh. Listen, if you saw- oh. Revenge of the Sith, he moans at the end. No. <laughs> oh. So anyway, this guy lives in Can Africa. Can I put my hand out or is that the dumbest thing you know what? you do? You can pet him on the back here, but you probably want to keep your hand away oh, from so him. I'm going up over your head. <laughs> there you go, you can do that. I'm using your skull as protection. You're tall enough, so. <laughs> okay, so this, yes. So anyway, this is a large carnivorous Oh, lizard. look at him, he's looking around like, that felt good. He probably, he Whoa, probably, hey, what the? He probably smells the cavy, which is an animal about the size that he would eat. These guys like to eat small mammals just like that, rodents. Is there anything I can feed uh, this monitor lizard right now? You know, actually, nope. Oh. We're not gonna feed him because if you get him, if you get him stimulated. If you feed him, he's happy and doesn't attack. He might try to eat me, so. Yeah. But yeah, right. check out those huge claws, the tongue sticking out. People think you get stung by that, but it's actually how they smell. It's just like a snake. They collect scent particles and bring them back into their mouth, and that's how they kind of you know, figure out what's going on in their environment. So this, not a good candidate for making chums with another species. He'll just kill anything. He's exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, predators, you know, they get a bad rap because they eat other animals, but they're really important. You know, conservation-wise, we want to protect them. But yeah, if we brought out one of the little furry guys with this lizard, wouldn't last very long, so. Right, okay. Yeah. Sounds All like right. a good segment to me. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're about protecting the wildlife. Yeah, I think you're not understanding how television works. Yeah. <laughs> if we put these next two species together, they'd fight to the death. But let's not see that. <laughs> All right, so our last species here is really, really cool. It's actually the first time that I've worked with this particular species. It's called an, uh, an African southern ground hornbill. And he's taking his time coming in. Doesn't now, the seem reason... to want to come in. <laughs> Did he run the other way? He just, come on. I love that he took one peek and he was like, I think not. <laughs> well, come on, listen, it's a fun show. Don't go by what you've read. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I mean, what is this? Tell me, this is a fascinating looking bird. Okay, so this is, yeah, it's a bird, right? It's called a southern ground hornbill, okay? When Thanks. you look at an animal like this, you can really see how birds are descended from dinosaurs. Let's see if we can get them over here now. Now, Conan, I'm gonna give you, do you want a, um, a piece of fruit or a piece of, a chunk of dead mouse? I would say <laughs> neither. Would okay. Be fine. <laughs> I'll uh, have neither seen, one. Is it really see. just, you just put a mouse in a, in a blender? What well, you, you know, it, if, yeah. No, you, you, know, you buy them frozen and it's, you know, for carnivorous animals. So anyway, Look these guys are, are, are carnivores. They're actually omnivores, but they're out hunting on the Af in the African savanna and they're looking, they, check out those eyes. They're really huge eyes with really long eyelashes. Whoa. Boink. Yeah, that didn't yeah. work. Um, huge <laughs> eyes that didn't see the huge clump of dead mouse coming its way. <laughs> and then, uh, what is that thing on the front of its uh, So that helps throat. them vocalize, they're social birds. You can hear them making all sorts of little squeaks and- Yeah, he sounds just like Darth Vader. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Come on. I, I ran up. I walked into that one. So, so, but check out the bill here. You know, southern hornbill is what this, uh, the, the name of the species. That bill is strong enough that it could actually crack through the shell of a tortoise. You're, really? They have fused vertebrae in their neck and they can pound you, which is why we're not getting any closer to him. Because he's, he's only, pretty close. Well, you know, if, if, you tried to, if you tried to pick him up right now, yeah. he could actually like break your, like a bone in your hand if he nailed you with that. Well, I have very that weak bones, yeah. is that's so, what I'm saying. Everybody. I really do, I'm, I'm just terribly weak bones. So yeah, I mean. Chunk of dead mouse, that's really, ch I can't get over the chunks of dead mouse. That's yeah. freaking me out right well, now. Well, you know what, when you take care of these animals in captivity, you gotta feed them what is healthy for them. And in this case, yeah. that's what they eat. They eat yeah. Uh, other small animals. Well, I've noticed so. you never come on the show with a mouse, so. Uh... <laughs>